When I first heard of Golden Boy, I had no expectations for the series. I started to watch it and got the impression it would be a basic ecchi, but was proven wrong by the POSITIVE MEANINGS! Well, at least I think that's what I saw. Golden Boy follows a young man, Kentaro Oe, who is a perfect complete idiot, but a friggin' genius at the same time. He's unemployed but seeking a job, and with each job he is introduced to a new girl, who one way or another falls in love with him, but he's always on the move and never staying in the same place. For being what appeared to be really etchy, Golden Boy was actually fairly modest about the fan service, which didn't take away from the plot. Even though it complements the perversion of the plot, though the subject matter is more mature so it's to be expected, Golden Boy has sort of a formula to its episodes. Kentaro gets a new job, he develops perverted thoughts of the new heroine at his workplace, he messes up and makes plain mistakes, then he does something incredibly good before he ditches to find a new gig leaving the heroine with a broken heart? Because the series was only six episodes in length, I thought the plot and its formula were fairly solid for what it was. Because with such a limited span of time, there isn't much room for the plot or characters to develop. And having an ending that leaves you hanging is more likely. So being more episodic won't make the ending feel like it ripped you off or like you didn't expect it. Also, just pointing out that five out of six episodes contain a scene of Kentaro worshipping some sort of toilet. Kentaro is the only consistent character throughout Golden Boy. He's an idiot pervert genius! That may sound contradictory, but throughout the series, Kentaro acts like a typical idiot pervert type for the most part, but he's an incredibly intelligent person otherwise. Even though the idiot pervert type character is pretty common nowadays, this I imagine was the early stages and more or less the birth of this kind of character. Typical or not, I enjoyed Kentaro's character very much, and his dumb acts and thoughts would usually get to me and make me laugh, and throughout the serious moments I would always be cheering him on and hoping he would be able to take care of whatever is needed. The heroines we encounter all vary in depth and personality, but most of them I ended up growing some sort of attachment to, even if I didn't expect to initially. Kentaro's mistakes usually end up with his character having been looked upon negatively by the heroines, but when the girls grow affection for him, it feels reasonable and genuine, not too forced. I don't know if it's because of the age of the anime, but it felt like each heroine's feelings were from a real person, not just written into them. The character development was inconsistent with each heroine, but with a new heroine and story for each episode, they couldn't nicely distribute it with such a limited amount of episodes. I like the character designs for Golden Boy. The facial features weren't too exaggerated, and for being an older style, it didn't feel dated at all. As for the art, it did a good job. It wasn't spectacular, but it doesn't make you cringe or take away from the show. For being made in 1995, I thought the animation was solid. There were some scenes that were animated well, and the way it was done made each scene effective. I think people who are accustomed to modern animation may find it okay? Well, actually maybe it's directing is better than some modern animation when I think about it, but I can't exactly remember. Golden Boy was a fairly quiet show, by that I mean there was plenty of scenes which included no soundtrack whatsoever, but it didn't really bother me. When it did have music, it usually was a sexy saxophone tune, which plays when Kentaro encounters a girl with his perverted thoughts, which was suitable. A lot of the idle music sounded like basic visual novel music, but the intense moments when he got angry or pumped up had effective music. The opening was alright, it was kind of peaceful and represented that the main character was a sort of nomad. It also stuck with a simple style which I like. As for the ending theme, it doesn't have one, it has Kentaro or the narrator repeating the plot then ending off the episode. I watched Golden Boy dubbed and for being an old series, apart from the brief side character voices, I thought the dub did a good job. In particular, I hear Kentaro's voice is miles better than the Japanese with his enthusiasm and hype, though I can imagine some people finding Kentaro's voice a bit annoying. Well, that's interesting. I had no idea that Yakuza quoted proverbs. Boy, this is so educational! I grew to enjoy his voice though. Golden Boy I found entertaining. Some of the humor was a bit repetitive, but it was kind of funny. When you saw that Kentaro was a genuinely good guy at the end of each episode, it made you feel good in a way. As for the series ending, I was neither pleased nor displeased. I didn't expect much from the beginning and the episode count, but Golden Boy is the type of series that could easily be resolutionless since the plot has no definitive goal. Golden Boy isn't perfect, but they could have made it better if they had more episodes, if they developed Kintaro into a better and more respectable person, if they perhaps had a resolution of Kintaro settling down with a permanent job, or who knows, maybe even save the world. Overall, Golden Boy was entertaining. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. If you like humor that is a bit dirty sometimes, you could enjoy it for that. If you're the type of person who likes a series that's funny and bad, but has a good meaning in the end, 
Assuming you can tolerate some of the subject matter, I'd recommend it. I won't own the series, but in the process of writing about it, I'm just reminding myself of when I enjoyed it, which makes me want to pick it up. Now, Golden Boy is an anime containing nudity, so this is one of the introductions of something called... The Nip Count! So in an attempt to put a numerical value on certain fanservice anime, or just anime that contain nudity, this count will be a division of scenes that contain nudity by episode count, resulting in an average amount of nudity scenes per episode the anime contains. Damn, what is this, a sort of fan service science? So in Golden Boy's case, I counted four scenes containing exposed nudity. Divided by six episodes gives us an average of 0.66. Being my first review, this leaves Golden Boy standing alone at the top of the fan service leaderboards. Now by no means does a higher numerical value necessarily make an anime more fan service-y, but it's just something for fun to be used as a general way to gauge fan service levels, so don't take it too seriously. At the time of this video, Golden Boy is licensed by Discotech Media, and officially available to stream on Crunchyroll, both subbed and dubbed. And for those of you who use Viewster, it's available there as well. This video is sponsored by... no one. Uh, have a good day. <coughs> that was educational.